commons are forms of governance and governance strategies for resources created and owned collectively. Commons are a reality today. When the word commons is mentioned, we usually think of natural resources, such as shared pastures, fisheries, and forests. But there are knowledge commons too. For example, communities combine their resources to provide public libraries. Scientists stand on the shoulders of giants to make advances on complex problems that no one person or organization could solve alone. When people collaborate to share and produce knowledge, they create a knowledge commons. These exist in many forms and contexts, such as the Galaxy Zoo project, where non-scientists help to classify galaxies, or collaborative efforts between medical scientists and rare disease patients to invent new medicines for a rare disease that is not profitable enough to attract large pharmaceutical companies. Wikipedia is a prominent example of how the Internet has opened up new possibilities for producing, preserving, distributing, and accessing knowledge. However, knowledge creation and sharing introduces social dilemmas. There are inevitable issues about who will do the work and how widely the outputs of a community's efforts should be shared. Propertizing knowledge, even as common property, is a standard one solution to these social dilemmas. But we need a lot more research before we can understand how and when alternatives, such as commons governance of knowledge, can be most effective. Recent efforts to liberate information and knowledge generated what some might call an openness movement, pushing back against the assumption that knowledge privatization through intellectual property is always the right way to go. Commons approaches, which can take advantage of the Internet's low communication costs and global reach, seem to be sprouting up like never before. A key ignition point for this movement occurred in the mid-1980s, when a computer programmer at MIT named Richard Stallman got fed up when copyright restrictions kept him from modifying proprietary software to suit his needs. Stallman believed that all software should be treated as a public resource and that programmers should have the freedom to share and modify the software if they so desired. So Stallman not only wrote his own program to replace that piece of proprietary code, he created a whole new paradigm for software development. Together with law professor Eben Moglen, Stallman developed the General Public License, a type of copyright license sometimes called copyleft. And thus, free, libre, and open source software movement was born. Today, open source licensed software is a very common form of knowledge commons where knowledge is shared through software logic and through accompanying open access documentation. The idea of open copyright licensing has spread beyond software. For example, the founders of Creative Commons developed licenses to enhance the legal sharing of digital images, text, and music. There are now more than 350 million Creative Commons license works accessible on the Internet. Some academics advocate a similar knowledge commons approach to educational materials and open access research journals. Knowledge commons approaches are also increasingly used in technological arenas where patents, rather than copyrights, are the dominant type of intellectual property. Prominent examples are the open source drug discovery effort in India, where scientists are collaborating to develop new medicines to fight TB and malaria, and the openly engineered computer technologies such as Arduino and lily pads used in makerspaces. Knowledge Commons governance is likely to be key to successfully addressing important social issues in medicine, environmental protection, education, science, and beyond. It is critical for us to study Knowledge Commons and learn how variations in governance affect outcomes. What works? What doesn't? Recently, a group of university researchers affiliated with IASC has founded a new internet-based research network called the Workshop on Governing Knowledge Commons. The network's website can be found at knowledge-commons.net. We encourage others interested in these topics to connect with us. Visit our webpage for more information on how to become involved.